Welcome to this Festival Pro tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to be having a quick look at the volunteer shift management. So I'm going to log in here as the event organizer. And we're going to have a look at setting up new shifts, how you um, add people into shifts, how many people you need on shifts, um, and assigning certain people to uh, certain managers and so on and so forth. So we're going to have a look into our volunteer section here and go down to the bottom of volunteer shift. And here you'll be able to see any shifts that you have already inputted and how many people have been assigned to those shifts. So we can see here we are still too short on our Friday AM traffic shift. What we'll do is I'm going to create a, a new shift here. And we'll go add another. And perhaps we need somebody to look after the pandas. Who wouldn't like to look after some lovely pandas? So we're going to put these guys on 4 a.m. is way too early. No one wants to do anything before 9 a.m., really. So then we can say this will be a shift. We only have half an hour looking after the pandas. And the pandas would definitely be backstage. Backstage on the uh, the children's stage. And we want to have two people for this. So we'll save this up. And now we can see if we scroll down that there is a look after the pandas shift here. So that is one way to add a shift. And if we now go to our overall shifts, you can see here, look after the pandas. But there are two two ways to add shifts. One, one is that. The other is through the volunteer calendar. And on the calendar, you've got the ability um, to quite visually work with this information. And you can see what clashes. <coughs> so you can see actually here we've got our, we've got our pandas. They're going to be backstage, but there's also uh, two people backstage on the main stage. Marie Rothman and Michael Clark. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, since we can see this is a... a conflict. If I try to add somebody, so to add somebody to a shift, we'll be able to uh, click the little plus, add somebody, and we can search for any of our volunteers here. What we can also do is uh, we can search just with a name, but what we might like to do is use the extra search fields and have a look at our volunteer application form. And in here we'll be able to uh, <coughs> break it down by the questions that they answered when they first applied. So, for example, uh, we may want to have people with first day training dealing with these pandas. So, let's search for anybody who had first day training. And we can see Marie Rothman here. And you'll see it comes up with a conflict. It will warn you that someone's got a shift at the same time, but it will allow you to still add them if you need to. So, we'll just go ahead and delete. Marie here and then we're going to run a new search and we'll pull up a couple of new stewards to put in there everybody with first aid training and that's going to give us a, a list of people here and then we might want to assign a uh, Mikey Martin to this and then perhaps we also want to put a uh, James Minto onto this shift and they can be our panda watchers. And now if I go to volunteers and volunteer shift, we can see that our looking after the panda shift is uh, is complete. I'm going to go back to the volunteer calendar. And now we'll open up Saturday. 
and we'll look at the other way to create a shift. Let's say access control. We can click on the little plus here and we can choose how long or how short a shift might like to be. So access control perhaps is to stop the pandas. Sounds like a theatrical performance. And we can add that. And now we've got the stop the pandas shift created on, on here. If your event perhaps has uh, some different volunteer coordinators and you want to assign certain stewards to certain people to assign, when you go into the scheduling for your, your volunteers, at the bottom here you can assign it to uh, any of your system users. Uh, so you may have your volunteer coordinator here, say Valerie Martins, we can save this. And then when Valerie is logged into her account for scheduling, she'll be able to search for um, the add. Add somebody to this shift. You can look for people who are assigned to you. In this case, uh, this account logged in has got David June assigned. And altering and changing shifts is as simple as uh, going to the festival calendar and then either creating a new shift like we showed you earlier or you can just move them around, make them shorter or longer. So that's a quick look at how you can set up new shifts, um, decide how many people are going to be on those shifts through the volunteer shift page, um, how then you can assign people to a shift on your volunteer calendar, how you can assign volunteer people to managers um, if you want certain people to pick them up how you can alter and change shifts and how you can look for conflicts where people may be working two places at the same time.